What's good? Welcome to a 2023 NFL playoff predictions video. I've seen a lot of these go out on YouTube. And to be honest, a lot of people are just picking favorites and home teams. And I watch these videos and I just want to fall asleep because everyone just picks the favorites every time. It's like the easy cakewalk pick. And it's like, I see these people who are, you know, paid to make these predictions. And while it's easy to go with the, the home team every time, you got it take some chances, you know what I mean? So I think that's going to be my goal going into this. I'm going to try to pick a little bit more upsets, a little more underdogs than I have been seeing. And by that, I mean, I could just pick two underdogs and that's more than I've seen in every video I've watched so far, to be honest. So <laughs> we got the AFC, we got the Chargers against the uh, Jaguars going in Jacksonville. Duval County, despite what many may think, is actually a hard place to play. Um, despite how bad they've been, they have a very dedicated fan base and while I wouldn't be surprised if they won this, I'm actually going to take the Chargers here over the Jags. And the reason being, I think the Chargers roster is just more equipped to handle sort of a grinded out NFL playoff game. Playoff games are notoriously just a little bit more slow. And, you know, of course, the intensity and the pressure is increased significantly. And I just trust the players on the Chargers roster, the more experienced ones, you know, Bosa, Justin Herbert, Keenan Allen, those guys to sort of come together and treat this game like any other game. To whereas I feel like the Jaguars, they just snuck in here. They probably weren't even expecting to play in this game probably three or four weeks ago. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if there was a Jaguar on their team that hasn't played a playoff game. What I mean by that is I wouldn't be surprised if their entire team hasn't been in a playoff game because what last time they made it, it was like 2017. That was like six years ago. The roster looks completely different. Long story short, I just feel like they're a little bit too inexperienced, a little bit too new, and I feel like they're going to crack under pressure. So I'm just going to go with the Chargers here. Moving on to the second game, six seed versus three seed. We've got the Ravens at Cincinnati. And I hate both these teams equally as a Steelers fan, but this is probably the easiest pick out of all of these teams, to be honest, especially the AFC. In my opinion, hot take here, I think the Ravens are probably the worst team in the AFC playoffs right now. And I say that because Lamar has been down and hurt. Uh, they have a terrible time trying to throw the ball through the air. And if you, whenever your identity is run and you do that well, that's positive but they can literally get nothing else going on offense. They have a hard time putting up touchdowns because like they settle for field goals left and right. Their defense is good, it's not great. And through the past few weeks, I think they finished what, 10 and seven. I feel like I've been watching a different Ravens team than I was watching last year, if that makes sense. Even though their season kind of looks the same because Lamar was out, you know, the last stretch of the season, they feel worse when Lamar was out. As opposed to last season, you know, Huntley came and I think they gave him a couple dubs. Uh, I just feel like they really didn't put up a fight towards the, the back stretch. So Bengals, pretty easy choice for me. Red hot team, super high powered offense. Hate them both, so I don't want to talk about this anymore. And down here, AFC, another really easy pick. Uh, I, I want to pick the the Dolphins as an upset, just because I, you know, I won an AFC upset. But <laughs> it's really hard to pick against the Bills here. I mean, especially with the Dolphins, I don't even know if two is cleared to play or if he will. I know Thompson played last game and he shit the bed. I mean, they were the final score was like eleven to six. And they only scored 11, the Dolphins, against the Jets because they had like some last minute safety. So, I mean, they only scored three field goals throughout the whole game. Their offense looks atrocious. They can get nothing working down the field. Uh, Jack Thompson just is not made to run this offense. <laughs> but, I mean, it's your backup quarterback. What do you expect? So, I think that'll wrap up the AFC. No crazy picks there, but it's really hard to pick any, any other way. I think these two are pretty much a lock. Of course, anything could happen in football, but I think these are heavy, heavy favorites with the Bills and Bengals. And then up here, this one could definitely go either way. Like I said, I just picked the Chargers in this one. And the NFC is where things might get a little spicy. Dallas at Tampa. I'm gonna be honest, and this is gonna show through and I'm gonna look like a dumbass because of this fact, but I haven't watched a lot of Tampa Bay football this year. Not near enough to understand how they've been so bad at eight and like eight and nine and they just snuck into the playoffs. I do know they've been turning it up the past couple weeks, maybe past few weeks, but other than that, they had a really bad season. I know every, I've heard that every player on their team has practically regressed at this point. And I've seen probably more Cowboys games than I've seen any other team. Uh, I live in Texas, so they're, they're just on all the time. And so <laughs> I know how they've looked and they've looked hella shaky, uh, at least in big moment games and in games where you just feel like they should be the, the heavy favorite. I'm not even talking about this past, Wash eh, this past Washington week when they played the Commanders. Uh, even before this game, I felt the exact same way. I just feel like they don't have what it takes 
you know, that it factor to win under pressure. And in any situation, you do not want to be playing Tom Brady in the playoffs. So this is a super unpopular pick. A lot of people clicking off the video now. I'm going Tampa Bay in round one over the Cowboys. Um, had to do it, man. I can't pick against Tom Brady. I've been picking against Tom Brady for probably as long as I've lived. And he has seven rings. So my track record is terrible. I'm just ready to hop on the, the Brady bandwagon at this point. Um, moving over to the Giants and Vikings. This one, the Vikings are probably one of the most inconsistent dominant teams I've seen since like the 11-0 Steelers. Like this team, whenever they're good, they are so good. And you can make an argument that they're Super Bowl contenders. But or at least an argument that they're one of the best teams in the league. But when they're bad, they're bad. They're terrible. And it's so weird. So I think this game can obviously go either way, as can every game in football. But I think, in my opinion, even if the Vikings have an off game, kind of like they did against the Colts, I think they have a legitimate chance to still beat the Giants, even if they're having an off game. Giants playing decent football. Daniel Jones been a like, top 15 quarterback in the league this year. Wouldn't have expected that coming in. Uh, I just don't think they have the receiver help. I don't think that their front seven is going to be able to hold up against the the Vikings O line. Um, I, I feel like that's the you know that's the giant strength is their front seven and being able to get inside and get to the quarterback quickly or stop short runs. But I just have a hard time thinking that they're going to be able to do that against the Vikings, who have a very dominant you know run heavy offense. So I'm going to go Vikings in this one. Like I said, could go either way. I wouldn't even have a problem picking the Giants here. I just really don't think it's going to happen to be honest. So, you know, pick what I think is going to happen. This one is fun. Seven seed, two seed, Seahawks at San Fran. And <laughs> I don't like San Francisco. I'm not a Brock Purdy fan. I think it's overhyped. I think you could put so many different quarterbacks in that San Fran system and they will strive or thrive, whatever the word is. I think you could put Geno Smith in this San Fran offense and he's going to look even better than Jimmy G. Just a unit of replaceable parts. Like as long as you have the O-line they have and George Kittle, everyone else in this offense can just rotate. And you can just put anyone you can with this coaching staff and they will bring you success. I think because of that, it's really easy to pick them, so I will. But yeah, like I said, I'm not a Brock Purdy fan. I, I think if you put him like on the Seahawks, for example, they're not a playoff team. He's overhyped, but he's Mr. Irrelevant, so I get it. It's awesome he's succeeding. It's awesome he's doing this well. You know, good for him, but he's not that good. You know what I mean? So I think I'm pretty comfortable with these picks. Uh, I was expecting to pick a couple more underdogs. I think coming into this, I was actually expecting to go... Uh, uh, Seahawks here <laughs> with the Niners, but I kind of talked myself out of it. So we're going to go on to the next week and my picks are already looking like everyone else's, but I promise you that is going to change right here. So the AFC three seed to two seed. I don't know if this one's going to be in a neutral site. If these two teams played, I, I don't remember exactly how the neutral site's going to work, but by, by, how do I say by how it sounded, it sounded like the neutral site would be determined if this game, this regular season game that happened in week 17, if it would have changed, if the outcome of that game could have changed who was the home team, I think that's when they play a neutral site. I don't know if that made a lot of sense, what it made sense in my head, but pretty much since if the Bengals would have won, they would have been home in this game. And if the Bills would have won that game, they would have been home in this game. I think that's what makes this a neutral game. I could be wrong. Like I said, not very educated on what the neutral game, you know, outline is but i do think this one could be neutral so i'm going to try to not take uh, home field into advantage um, i think regardless if they're playing in buffalo or it's neutral i'm gonna have to go Bengals here and of course i hate the Bengals. i'm not saying this like i'm not sharing for the Bengals by any means but i think and i don't mean to hold this over their head because it is you know a tragic accident but i think something as severe as the whole you know demar hamlin situation i don't think usually and it can i don't think usually it impacts a team positively i know they just scored 35 points on the patriots and you know the miraculous you know kickoff returns which is fantastic but i think usually that type of stuff especially whenever you know it comes to a game that requires focus and intensity and never wavering like football i think it's hard to kind of zone in and play your best football whenever you lost a brother you know to the same team that you're playing and Maybe that's a terrible reason to pick against the Bills. I just, in my opinion, I, I also picked them to lose to the Patriots this past week, and that was wrong. So uh, I, I just think, in, in my opinion, it's really hard to regroup after that. It would be awesome if they did. I think the Bills are the team I want to win. 
probably a lot of fans that you know aren't in the playoffs their teams aren't in the playoffs anymore we all want the bills to win but you know these are just predictions think things i think are going to happen and i do think the Bengals would get it done if they played of course can go either way it's going to be that way with you know the rest of the playoff games from the divisional round out it's just pretty much a coin flip for all of them because football is football but i am going to the Bengals here Reasoning, probably not the best, but we're going to move on. Five seed versus one seed. This one is a extremely easy pick. You have the Chargers going into Arrowhead, facing probably the best team in the league. I think they're the best team. You can certainly make a case for the Eagles, Niners, or Bills, maybe even Bengals to be the best team in the league. But in my opinion, I would probably go Chiefs. And uh, they're playing at home. You got Andy Reid, you got Pat Mahomes. But Chargers, I feel like, are that one team hear me out, that you always count out, especially when they're playing the Chiefs. And I feel like, you know, through recent years, you just, you know, turn on the TV. I think it was last year or maybe yeah, it was last year and the year before. I think you just turn it on and you see that the Chargers beat the Chiefs in some random regular season week. Um, Chargers have shown that they are capable of going into Arrowhead and outplaying the Chiefs. They haven't showed that on a playoff scale, at least not recently. But I do think division rivals, those are always coin flips. If anyone has a chance, the best chance to beat the Chiefs, I actually think it's the Chargers. That's a hot take for sure. I think the Chargers have a better chance to beat the Chiefs than even the Bills or the Bengals because they're division rivals, Justin Herbert and that entire team. You got Keaton Allen, uh, Austin Eckler. They're just kind of like this, this sleeper team. Like they're 10 and seven, they're the five seed. No one's really talking about the Chargers, but I really feel like they could have what it takes to get it done in Arrowhead. They're not favorites by any means, but hey, got to pick some upsets and I'm going Chargers over Chiefs. And in the NFC, Vikings, Niners. Ah, this one's actually really tough for me because I don't like either team to win it all or I don't like either team to go far in the playoffs. Uh, really just because a quarterback struggles with the Niners and then just the super inconsistencies from the Vikings. Give me just one second. Let me go straight down to the NFC because uh, this one's easy. I'm going Eagles. <laughs> going Eagles over uh, Bucks. They just have a much more fluid and solid roster. The roster on paper, you know, like I said, Bucks have really just regressed this year. And like I said, have not watched a lot of Tampa Bay games. Probably watched the least amount of Tampa Bay out of every playoff team. But I. With how the narrative of this season is going and how exceptional the Eagles are, um, if Jalen Hurts plays in this game, they are going to win it. Um, if he doesn't, I think it's a coin flip. And by by those standards, you know, an Eagles can still easily win a coin flip. So I think the Eagles are the best choice here. I think it's the most realistic choice, and I think it's uh, it's it's what I think is going to happen at the end of the day. So Eagles over Bucks. I don't feel like there's a lot much more to say as we move on to. Uh, Niners, Vikings. And the way I think of this, if the Vikings are on, if they are on, I think they beat the Niners. I think if the Vikings are the Viking we Vikings we saw like, you know, middle early of the season, I think they really they will probably win this game. But I think the Niners, you know, are so consistent and so such like a, they're just a good team always, but they're not a great team always. Does that make sense? I feel like they're just always a good team and they're always going to give any team troubles no matter who you are. And it's just it's just a question on if the Vikings are going to be the Vikings or not. Um, since uh, I have them coming out of a win against the Giants. Oh, man, this is so hard for me. I actually picked the Niners to win it all like halfway through the season. Um, once they got CMC. <laughs> no, they were four and four. Never mind. Whenever I picked it, I don't think it was before they got CNZ. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I, I like the Niners to go far, and <clears throat> I like the Niners to go far. And then it's just like, oh, Brock Purdy, dude. All right, I made my decision. We're going to go Niners. I think it's an absolute coin flip and go either way. And I think it does depend pretty much solely on how the Vikings play and which Minnesota team shows up. But I think the, Vi the uh, Niners are just too consistent. And uh, I kind of came to the conclusion that if the Vikings don't show up like they, you know, like they haven't been doing recently, they're going to lose no matter what. And if they do show up, then it's a coin flip between them and San Fran. So I think by that logic, you have to go with San Fran just statistically. I think they're probably going to win this game and they would be my pick, you know, if money was on the line. So I am going to go San Fran over the Vikings. Definitely go either way, though. And we'll move on to the conference championship round. AFC. Not a lot of people have this as their AFC conference championship, I promise. But I feel pretty good about it. I actually feel really confident that uh, 
this could be the outcome. And uh, <laughs> the Chargers have already gone this far as the fifth seed, and the Bengals with their high-powered offense, uh, you know, great coaching, and being this far, Joe Burrow does not waver in the clutch. I think you know this type of game can start getting to the heads of the players of the Chargers because they've never been this far. Talking about LA Super Bowl hopes, but. I do think the Bengals will be able to be more composed and get it done, especially in Cincinnati. Uh, LA is not going to be used to playing in that cold weather, right? So I'm going Cincinnati pretty easily here, to be honest, making it to the Super Bowl. Uh, are the Bengals to represent the AFC? And uh, in the NFC, got the Niners and the Eagles. And this is another one that's kind of a kind of a coin toss, obviously. And at the end of the day, I think these teams are similar. They have fantastic rosters on paper. Kind of this 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 irreplaceable parts type system they have, but at the end of the day, I think Jalen Hurts is just an MVP type candidate. I think that I mean they just have bigger names. Whatever you think of like you know AJ Brown, Jason Kelsey, Devonte Smith. I mean just guys on their offense that are really just going to make plays for you and, and be consistent night in and night out. And while I think this is going to be probably the best game of the playoffs, and this is going to be a phenomenal game and very fun to watch if they do play each other, uh, I'm just going to have to go kind of just for the better quarterback at the end of the day because I think these two teams are so similar, and uh, I'm just going to pick the team that I feel like, you know, I feel like it comes down to who has the better quarterback in this instance. So I am going to go Eagles here. Moving on to the Super Bowl, Eagles, Bengals. Joe Burrow obviously been here before. It's kind of that thing where it's like Jalen Hurts has not been in this type of clutch situation. He got benched, excuse me. Jalen Hurts got benched in Alabama whenever he was playing in the conference championship game. Maybe he's not clutch, what can I say? Um, if I had to pick somebody here, I would actually pretty easily, and maybe that's dramatic. Maybe it's dramatic to say easily, but I, I would pick the Bengals here. Again, I hate the Bengals. I, I don't want to get that twisted. I just, I feel like, the Eagles are easy, would crack under pressure just a little bit easier than uh, Joe Burr would, you know what I mean? So I, I have a pretty easy time picking the more experienced playoff team, even though they just made the Super Bowl last year and that's the only experience they have. But I mean, it's the Super Bowl last year, right? So I actually have the Bengals winning it all, which I did not think is who I was going to pick when I started this, to be honest. But this is my bracket, uh, of course, and they can go either way. Appreciate you guys for watching. Any disputes, uh, if you want to call me out, if you've somehow made it this far, call me out in the comment section. Please leave a like. Help me out a lot. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.